Right off the top tonight, an alleged drunk driver smashes into a car full of nuns, killing one, critically injuring two others. Tonight, we're learning more about why he should have never been behind the wheel to begin with. Good evening. I'm Brian Bolter. And I'm Sean Yancey. Police say that driver was no stranger to them. Carlos Montano had drive, driven drunk before and was on his way to being deported. Fox 5's Will Thomas live in our newsroom now to start us off. Will? Sean, Brian, you will agree the facts of this one are not only extraordinarily tragic, but some of the details will leave our viewers angry. Three nuns driving into our area from Richmond struck by another car. The man driving that car, as you just heard, accused of being drunk. And now we have discovered... He's already been convicted of drunk driving two times before, and that is not the half of it. A head-on collision on a bridge just south of Manassas Sunday morning. Police say 23-year-old Carlos Martinelli Montano was drunk, speeding, and lost control of his Subaru, slamming into a Toyota with three nuns inside. Sister Charlotte Lang and Connie Ruth Lupton both critically hurt. Sister Denise Mosier, who may have been asleep in the back seat, was killed. The women were only a few miles from their destination, a retreat at the Benedictine Monastery in Bristow. She was our dancer. She loved, loved to dance. As soon as she heard music, you could see her whole body just turn on. She was just an extraordinary woman. Montano is hospitalized and being guarded by police until they can move him into a jail cell. He's charged with involuntary manslaughter and DUI. Involuntary manslaughter means that you kill someone unintentionally, which apparently this is, but his conduct may elevate this to a higher grade of homicide. Let's look at that conduct. Montano has two previous DUI convictions, December of 07 and April 2009. He served 20 days in jail for the second one and lost his license for three years. But court records show police busted him twice for driving with a suspended license. Add to all of those offenses, Montano is in the U.S. illegally. You have an illegal alien who is a criminal who commits crimes, endangers the public, and now they've released him again to kill an innocent citizen. The chairman of the Prince William County Board of Supervisors, who's making a name for himself for his proposed statewide rule of law legislation modeled after Arizona's controversial law, blames Congress for underfunding U.S. immigration and customs enforcement. That's because Montano was in federal custody at least twice for his alien status, but released. Congress won't even provide enough funding to deport an illegal immigrant who's been identified as an illegal immigrant and who's committed a crime. At last check, sisters Lang and Lupton are still being cared for in the trauma unit at Inova Fairfax, and we're told they're in pretty bad shape. But we know they're surrounded by loved ones. As for Montano, his deportation proceedings will not get in the way of this case. In fact, the Commonwealth's attorney told him by phone this evening, Paul Ebert, he said he wants to see these guys locked up just like Montano for a long, long time and here in the U.S.